Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Justin and let's talk about factoring quadratic trinomial case number 2. So, pag sinabing case number 2, um, our quadratic trinomial, ax squared plus bx plus c, yung a dito is not equal to 1. So, for example, itong item number 1 natin, which is 6x squared plus 23x plus 7. So, yung leading coefficient natin, which is x squared, yung numerical coefficient niya is not equal to 1. So, paano natin siya ifa factor? So, in factoring quadratic trinomial case number 1, ang first step natin is to identify the values of a, b, and c. So, yung a natin is the numerical coefficient of x squared. So, ito yung 6. Yung b natin is the numerical coefficient of x, which is 23. And yung c natin, yun yung constant, which is 7. Tapos, ang Susunod natin gagawin is we need to find the product of a and c. So, multiply natin si 6 at si 7. So, 6 times 7, that will give us 42. And we will look for factors of our ac, or in this case, yung 42, na pag in natin, the answer is the middle term, which is b. So, hanap tayo ng factors ni 42, na pag in natin, the answer is 23. Isip tayo ng factors ni 42, so, we have 2 and 21. So, 2 plus 21, that will give us 23. So, nakuha na natin yung factors na magbibigay ng sum na 23. Then, balik tayo sa ating polynomial, 6x squared plus 23x plus 7. Tapos, kopyahin natin yung first term at last term. Tapos, yung gitna, yung 23x, hahatiin natin yan, express natin siya as the sum of 2x and 21x. Now, saan galing yung 2x pati 21x? Dito sa ating 2 and 21 na factors ni 42. Then, igugroup natin si first term at si second term, si third term at si last term. And we will apply factoring by grouping. So, hanap tayo ng common factor per group. So, si 6x squared plus 2x, ang common factors nila ay 2x. Thus, let's divide each term by 2x. That will give us 3x plus 1. Okay. Then, sa kabilang group naman, yung greatest common factor ni 21x and 7 is 7. Then, let's divide each term by 7, giving us 3x plus 1. Okay. Now, tignan natin kung meron tayong parehong group. So, if we have a common group, i-factor out natin yan. So, ito yung common group natin. 3x plus 1. Then, kopyahin natin yung natira, which is 2x plus 7. And that's it. That will be the factor of our polynomial. It will be 3x plus 1 and 2x plus 7. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's factor this polynomial. So, we have 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. So, ang gagawin natin in factoring this type of polynomial is first, identify natin yung value ni a, b, and c. So, yung a natin is the numerical coefficient of x squared. In this case, it is 2. Yung b natin is the numerical coefficient of x. In this case, ito ay negative 11. Then, our constant is 12. Ito yung walang variable na kasama. So, kopyahin lang natin sila. Tapos, kunin natin yung product ni a and c. So, what is the product of a and c? Substitute natin, we have 2 times 12. So, 2 times 12 will give us a product of 24. Tapos, let's find the factors of ac, in this case 24, na pag in natin, the answer is b. So, anong value ng b natin? It is negative 11. So, isip tayo ng factors si 24, na pag in natin, it is negative 11. So, let's try, negative 2 and negative 12. Negative 2 times negative 12 will give us 24. So, let's try to add it. Negative 2 plus negative 12 will be equal to negative 14. So, hindi siya yung hinahanap natin value ni B. So, try ulit tayo ng isa pang factor. Try natin si negative 3 and negative 8. So, if we multiply negative 3 times negative 8, equal ba siya sa 24? Yes. Tapos, let's add negative 3 plus negative 8 will give us negative 11. So, nahanap na natin yung factors na magbibigay ng sum na negative 11. 
So, kopyahin natin yung original polynomial natin. Kopyahin natin si first term at si last term. At si middle term, hahatiin natin siya into the sum of negative 3x and negative 8x. Tapos, let's apply factoring by grouping. So, i-group natin si first group at second group, third group and fourth group. Then, let's get the greatest common factor of each group. So, si 2x squared minus 3x, anong common factor niya? Yung greatest common factor ni 2x squared minus 3x is x. And let's divide each term by x. That will give us 2x minus 3. Okay? Tapos, yung ating second group, yung greatest common factor nila, so, hindi tayo pwede magkaroon ng negative na leading term. Therefore, we will factor out negative sign. So, negative 4, yung ating greatest common factor. Tapos, yung matitirang factor will be 2x minus 3. So, divide each term lang by negative 4. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong common na group. Meron tayong 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3 sa kabilang term. So, we factor that out. 2x minus 3. Tapos ano yung matitira? It will be x minus 4. So, this will be the factor of 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. It will be 2x minus 3 and x minus 4. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Let's factor the polynomial 5x squared plus x minus 18. So, this is an example of factoring quadratic trinomial case number 2. So, Ang first step natin pag nagpa-factor tayo ng quadratic trinomial case number 2 is for us to identify the value of a, b, and c. So, first, yung a natin is the numerical coefficient of x squared. So, in this case, it is 5. Yung ating b, it is the numerical coefficient of x. So, in this case, pag hindi nyo nakikita yung number na katabi niya, it is 1. Okay, so positive 1 kasi positive sign yung katabi niya. So positive 1. And yung C natin, yung constant, which is negative 18. So take note, kasama yung ating sign. Next step natin is to get the product of AC. So let's multiply 5 and negative 18. So 5 times negative 18 will give us negative 90. Tapos, maghahanap tayo ng factors ni AC na pag in natin, the answer is B. So, ano ba yung value ng B natin? It is equal to positive 1. Now, let's look for factors of negative 19 na magbibigay sa atin ng sum na 1. So, we have negative 6 and 15. Try nating i-add sila. So, that will be negative 6 plus 15 is 9. So, hindi ito yung hinahanap nating factors ni AC. So, isa pang um, try. So, we have negative 9 and 10. So, negative 9 and 10. Pag in natin, that will give us positive 1. So, ito yung hinahanap natin, factors ni AC na magbibigay sa atin na sum na 1. Okay. So, pag nakuha na natin yun, let's go back to our original polynomial, 5x squared plus x minus 18. Kopyahin natin yung first term and last term. Tapos yung middle term natin, which is positive x, it will be um, expressed as the sum of negative 9x and positive 10x. So, ito yung pinanggalingan natin. We get negative 9 and 10, tapos nilagyan lang natin ng variable x. Okay. Tapos, let's apply factoring by grouping. So, let's group the first term and second term, third term and fourth term. Tapos, let's get the greatest common factor of each group. So, 5x squared minus 9x, yung common factor nila is x. Tapos, let's divide each term by x. That will give us 5x minus 9. Sa kabilang group naman, si 10x minus 18, yung greatest common factor nila is 2. So, let's factor out 2 and divide each term by 2. So, that will give us 5x minus 9. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong common group na 5x minus 9. So, we factor that out. Okay? Tapos, kunin natin yung natirang factors, which is x plus 2. And the factor of 5x squared plus x minus 18 will be 
5 x minus 9 and x plus 2. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Let's factor the polynomial 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. So, in this example, we have factoring quadratic trinomial case number 2. So, para ma-factor natin to using factoring quadratic trinomial case number 2 is we have to identify the values of a, b, and c. So, yung a natin is the numerical coefficient of x squared, so 2. Yung b natin is negative 7, numerical coefficient of x. And yung c natin, it is negative 4. So, ang next step natin is for us to multiply a and c. So, it will be 2 times negative 4. So, 2 times negative 4, that will give us negative 8. And, so let's look for factors of AC na pag in natin, the answer is equal to B. So, ano bang value ng B natin? So, B is equal to negative 7. So, isip na tayo ng factors in negative 8 na pag in natin, it is equal to negative 7. So, one of the factors is negative 4 times 2. So, pag minultiply natin, it is 8. Pag in natin, that will give us negative 2. So, hindi ito yung hinahanap natin. Isip pa tayo ng factors. Try natin si negative 8 and positive 1. So, pag in natin si negative 8 and 1, that will give us negative 7. So, we now have the factors of AC that will bring us negative 7 pag in -add. So, let's go back to our polynomial 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. And let's copy the first term and the last term. Tapos, yung middle term na negative 7x, okay, express natin as the sum of negative 8x and positive x. Ayan. So, saan galing si negative 8x at si 1x? Galing siya dito sa ating factors of AC that when we add, the answer is negative 7. Tapos, let's apply factoring by grouping. So, let's group 2x squared and negative 8x tapos si x minus 4. Okay? So, let's apply getting the greatest common factor of each group. So, the greatest common factor of the first group is 2x. So, let's divide each term by 2x. That will give us x minus 4. Tapos, sa kabila naman, ang greatest common factor ni x minus 4 is 1. So, the other factor will be x minus 4 pa rin. Okay? Now, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong common na group, which is x minus 4. So, let's factor out x minus 4. And, let's copy what is um, left in our polynomial. So, ang matitira, pag finactor out natin si x minus 4, will be 2x plus 1. And, that will be the factor of 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. It will be x minus 4 and 2x plus 1. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Let's factor this polynomial. 4x squared plus 7x minus 15. So, ang first step natin in factoring quadratic trinomial case number 2 is for us to identify the values of a, b, and c. Yung a natin is the numerical coefficient of x squared. So, it is 4. Yung b natin is the numerical coefficient of x, which is 7. And yung c natin is yung constant term natin, which is negative 15. So, after getting the values of a, b, and c, Let's get the product of A and C. So, multiply natin si 4 and negative 15. That will give us negative 16. Tapos, let's look for factors of AC na pag in natin, the answer is equal to the middle term. So, pag in natin, it will give us the value of B which is positive 7. So, isip tayo ng factors ni negative 60 na pag in equal to 7. So, let's have negative 4 and 15. So, negative 4 times 15 is negative 60. So, pag in natin, that will give us negative 11. So, hindi ito yung hinahanap natin. Try naman natin is negative 5 times 12. So, negative 5 times 12 will give us negative 60. Pag in natin, that will give us positive 7. So, ito yung factors na hinahanap natin. So, Balik tayo sa ating original polynomial. Let's copy the first term and the last term. Tapos yung middle term, we will express that to the sum of negative 5x and 12x. So, saan galing si negative 5x pati si 12x? That will be coming from our factors of AC na pag in equal siya sa 7. 
Pero, dinagdagan lang natin ng variable x. Tapos, let's apply factoring by grouping. So, let's group the first two terms and the last two terms. Okay? Then, let's get the greatest common factor of each group. Then, factor natin. Then, let's get the common monomial factors of each group. So, yung common monomial factor ni 4x squared minus 5x is x. Then, let's divide each term by x. That will give us 4x minus 5. Sa kabilang group naman, yung common factors nila is 3. So, we factor out 3. Then, divide each term by 3. That will give us 4x minus 5. Now, kung titignan natin, pareho silang merong 4x minus 5. So, let's factor that out. And, kopyahin kung ano yung natitira. So, the remaining um, factor will be x plus 3. And that will give us the factors of 4x squared plus 7x minus 15, which is 4x minus 5 and x plus 3. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright! And that is it! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.